she, 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 she. Yeah, not all of the things that. Oh, my legs fell asleep. Ow! Ugh. Not all of the things that have happened to me with women and the paranormal have been uh, with people I've actually slept with. Uh, there was a lady, and she. We both very much wanted to have sex with each other. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but, you know, after the shit I've been through with people, you know, like kind of like the last story I said, and kind of like with uh, other people in my life and stuff, I've been more cautious, you know, because, I, I mean, I trust people, but at the same time, man, enough of shit already, you know? So, uh, what was I saying? That's really weird. So... We both desperately <laughs> wanted to sleep with each other. And at the same time, we both had way too many fucking uh, conditions. We, we, had, we were a pile of conditions. It, it was really kind of funny and odd how we were. And, you know, she had certain conditions because she's been fucked over. I had certain conditions because I've been fucked over. And it's like... Yeah, where's that piece? And this went back and forth for quite a long time. Uh, pretty much she would drive me home on, like, Wednesday mornings and shit, and we would sit in the parking lot here, and she she wouldn't come up to my place, but we would talk you know, just about life, talk about each other, about our experiences and stuff, and, uh, you know, it, it's like the whole time we're just trying to get cool with the other person, you know, just so we're, like, chill. And... I mean, this went on a few weeks, actually. And it got to a point where it's like, you know... It, it was like... I kind of thought it would happen, honestly. It, it, I thought we just needed this one thing or something to come to agreeance on and everything would be fine and we'd be banging our, our brains out and shit. But it's like... Uh, you know, there was this one time she drove me home. And, you know, we did the same thing. We talked. But this time, she seemed more... Not desperate. She seemed more worried, I guess. And she was telling me a lot more stuff, and she was making promises. You know, very nice little promises to me, you know. I'm not going to go into detail. Just, she was opening up, and I, I really liked it, you know. And I, and it, I took notice of it. I'm like, huh. I, I go, maybe she is actually, you know, serious enough to have me agree to some of her conditions here, you know. And no, I'm not going to go into conditions, because, you know, that's more personal. You know, but, God, this is definitely a bootleg, because these are scratched all the fuck. But, uh, you know, I took notice that she was being more open than I had seen her. And I'm like, okay, she's probably taking this more seriously now. Maybe I should, you know, advance, you know, and maybe even agree to some things. And she then, like, a day later or so, maybe a day or two later, were there at work. And she goes, she goes, come over here a second. I'm like, okay. And she goes, and, and she 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 touches me and she goes, hug me. I'm like, I'm like, right here. And she's like, yeah. I'm, I'm like, no problem there, you know. So I'm there hugging her. Anyone can walk by. Anyone can see this. Anyone can, you know, start, you know, assuming that we're a thing, you know. And I'm like, I'm like, cool, you know, nice hug. And I, I say to her, I go, I go, we should probably do this a lot more often, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it was everything was cool. So my weekend comes, and I'm sitting there thinking about the events of, you know, that week, and I'm like, hmm. I'm like, you know what? I, okay, I trust her. I, I'm going to advance. I'll, I'll agree. What I did was I had thought up what I found to be a very, very clever compromise by which she would agree and I would agree and I burst out laughing at this I'm like hot damn I finally figured out the solution to this problem we've been having and you know what I can't even remember it now I can't even remember what I thought up and the reason for that is because something happened immediately after I mean immediately after as soon as I felt happy as soon as I felt happy because I had solved the problem 
of, of why she was, you know, the way she was and why I wa was the way I was and what we needed to get by so we could be having fun and, you know, I ain't getting any younger. <laughs> uh, all of a sudden, I was hit with a wave. I was hit with a wave of sadness and what is that word sadness and it, it was just like a, an emotion telling me to slam on the brakes for a second and i got pissed off because i thought that emotion was mine i was like what kind of fucking personal sabotage is my mind doing to me where i am happy and must instantly feel sad immediately afterwards what the fuck is wrong with my brain why would i do that to myself and as I say that, something happened. Uh, my vision went white. No, I'm not saying my eyes turned white. I wouldn't even know if it did. Uh, my vision turned white. And th once again, this is something that has not happened, or it is something that has happened to me in the past. Uh, what I saw was, the it, I, all I saw was white, and then it kind of bled over into being able to see again. Only I wasn't seeing what I was seeing. I was seeing what somebody else was seeing. And it was first person, like as if you're playing the game Doom or something like that. You know, I'm not seeing my own body. I'm seeing physically through someone else's eyes. And I then had it bleed over. Yeah, it, it, ble it bled over into pretty much a person walking through a parking lot. Walking out into a parking lot. And I'm like, why the fuck am I seeing this? <laughs> you know, I knew it wasn't me because, like I said, this has happened to me before. I, I know that when I see through other people's eyes that it's not mine. You know, it's white followed by whatever they're doing. So, I'm... F I, 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 as soon as I... It seems like whenever this happens, when I ask questions, I get answers. It's almost like I'm being given things piecemeal until I... I'm clever enough to ask the question. I, I, I go, why am I seeing this? And I get the emotion of guilt. And then I'm like, I'm like, okay, a person's guilty. That's great. And I, I'm like, why? And then I get a feeling of me, like as if someone were thinking about me. I get the feeling of guilt towards me, I guess you could say, you know, when you put one and one together. And it's like, I'm like, I'm like, okay. And I keep watching just for a minute before I ask another question. You know, and all I see literally is just somebody walking out into a parking lot, not yet arriving wherever they're going. And then finally, it just ends. Or, or no, 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 it doesn't just end. I, I go, okay, why am I seeing this? Who Who is this that I'm seeing this? Like, whose is this? And then at that moment, my vision goes briefly white, and then it comes back to me, and I'm back, and I'm like, I'm like, eh, fuck. Because <laughs> I didn't get my answer, you know? It's like I got up to a certain point, and then I was not getting any more answers to what it was. And a little bit, and you know, I'm pissed off, because A, I felt really happy right before that happened, because I'd figured out the solution by which we could both agree, and we could both be having fun and being happy. And I was also pissed off, because I wasn't told who it was, and, you know, it just sucked. It just sucked. And as often happens with when I have my vision go white like that and I can see through other people's eyes, what happens is I am answered in real life as to what the fuck it was all about. So a few uh, minutes later, somebody contacts me and they're like, hey... Uh, I thought you and her were going to be doing stuff and stuff. I thought you you and her were, were like, going to be a thing or something. I'm, like, going to be? Damn right we will. You know, because I still had the uh, idea in my head, you know, how to get it, you know, how to make this happen, you know. And they're like, yeah, no, don't, just just don't. I'm like, I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm like, why the fuck not? And they're like, well, I mean... There's things that you probably don't know about, so, you know, just don't bother with her. You know, I'm, I'm like, what? I'm like, how can you say that? I go, I go, we'll probably be banging within the end of the week, you know? <laughs> you know, that's how confident I was in my in my idea that it popped into my head, you know? And they're like, they're like, you don't understand. They're, they're like, she, she flirts with a lot of people. She, she, she flirts with a lot of people. 
And I'm like, I'm like, nah, you're just misinterpreting things. <laughs> you know, and I really did believe that they were just misinterpreting things. You know, I'm like, she's just, she's just free and open like that. That's all. She's not actually flirting with them. And as a matter of fact, she said things to me the other day that were just very too uh, emotional. And, you know, you know, she made promises to me. She, she's, she's good to go. And they're like, uh, yeah, no, just don't get hurt. Just don't get hurt again. And I'm like, well, I mean, I go, I, I go, I think you're just misinterpreting this, you know? And they're like, yeah, okay, bye, you know? <laughs> so, you know, I still hadn't made the connection yet. I still had not made the connection. And a little bit after that, someone different contacts me. And they're like, hey, I thought you guys were going to be doing stuff. And I'm like, I'm like, that's odd. Somebody just said that to me. And they're like, they're like, yeah, well, I mean, you, you probably don't want to pursue that anymore. And I'm like, I'm like, well, what are you talking about? Everything's cool. Oh, she made a bunch of promises to me. <laughs> Everything's good. We'll, we'll be banged within you in a week. And she goes, no, no. You, you see, uh, she was just out in the parking lot with somebody, and I don't think they're holding hands in their car. Uh, I mean, you know, I don't know for sure what they're doing in there, but I don't think they're holding hands. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> you're just misinterpreting things. And even as I'm saying that, my mind is now understanding what I saw. And, you know, I still, you know, I closed, I closed the conversation with them with like, ah, you're just misinterpreting it. But, you know, the second they disconnected, I was like, oh, fuck. That is what I saw. I mean, I was happy because it looked like, you know, I had figured out how to be, you know, with that person. And the thing is, I just saw them. I mean, the, I had a feeling of me and I had a feeling of guilt. A, they had guilt towards me. B, they were walking out into a parking lot. I mean, it's exactly what this person has just told me. And I'm like, ah, fuck, it's all true. <laughs> and, you know, I want to demonize this person, or I did want to demonize this person, you know? It's like, geez, how could you say something so, you know, uh, definitive to a person, you know, saying you want to be with them and shit, and at the same time, you're, you're running around messing with other people and stuff. And, you know, so what happens, you know... I go back to work and, you know, that person's there and she's like, oh yeah, this, you know, she's talking to people. She's like, yeah, this weekend I did this and did that and woo, you know, and um, I didn't react and I think they caught that I didn't react because, you know, they came to me more than once or twice uh, saying, did I make you mad? What happened? You know, or, or no, they're like, they're like, are you mad at me for something? You know, it's like, they don't have the balls to say, are you mad at me because I kind of fucked you over a little bit there, but, uh, you know, it, <laughs> I give them the benefit of the doubt on uh, their emotions there. But, uh, it's like, you know, I had no idea they were messing around or, you know, tr I had no idea that they were hitting on so many people other than me. But at the same time, it did seem like there was a good bit of affection there too. And the thing is, I want to be mad at them. I wanted to be mad at them, but... I mean, this person does have their own little set of uh, supernatural type things going on too. So what what really happened here? And once again, like with the last thing I talked about in the previous video, it's not me rationalizing something that went south. It's me telling you exactly what happened. I mean, in the best of my ability, I can only assume that a part of her, her subconscious, was talking to my subconscious. I mean, like I said with my friend, when uh, he needed a hair tie on his way to work, he realized he needed a hair tie, and my subconscious was already in a conversation with his, I guess, talking about how I needed to pick up an extra hair tie. You know, the little smartass. And it's like, I think this was the same kind of deal. I, I think a subconscious part of her came to me, told me, uh, look, I'm sorry. This is what I'm doing here. Don't be mad, you know, but this is what I'm doing. And it showed me what she was doing, which was walking out into the parking lot with this person, you know, or, or you know, towards this other person. And, you know, like I said, it kind of sucks to be me, right? Because <laughs> I would like to be mad and bitter about this, I, you know, but at the same time, 
I was given an interesting uh, event to make a dumb video about. You know, I mean, you know, what do you do with it? What do you do with it? Who knows? Maybe that was the whole point of me seeing that was to not be angry and bitter about it, to not be shocked and cause a scene at work when you know it was revealed that that was going on. Who knows? I don't. I don't know. But I mean, the fact is, it happened. I mean, shit. You know, they did something that probably wasn't the nicest thing to do, but a part of them came to me and apologized in a sort, you know. I don't know. It's like, how do you get mad at somebody when you know what their inner thinking was, you know? When you know that they're inside, they were actually kind of not easy doing what they did, you know? It's like, they might have not said it out in here in the physical world, but something came to me and said, I'm sorry, you know? I mean, how can you be mad at them, you know? I mean, for one thing, like I said, they are showing you an, an interesting part of this world we live in, in the supernatural aspect of it. So there's that anyway, you know. <sighs> yeah, this shit happens. Let me see here. One, two, three, four, five. And not to sound like a cook or anything, but, uh, I am happy that she's found happiness and stuff, because, you know, that's awesome. You know, everybody should find happiness. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's supposed to be one over. Yeah. I think. Yeah. You know, it just is. It is what it is. I felt burnt, but at the same time, I understood. And, you know, the fact is, some people are just more in a panic mode to be with a person, period, you know? And I understand that, too. I'm not that kind of person. I'm a little bit more picky. And, you know, I've turned down crazy before. I mean, I've had a few people that, A, wanted to be with me, B, wanted to sleep with me. And some of them were even really damn cute, but they were crazy, so I shot that shit down. I had to. <laughs> but, uh, you know... <sighs> It just is what it is sometimes. At least I got a cool story out of it though, right? 